Hi guys, welcome back to Sunday Spiritual. It's going to be a general reading for the collective for May 12th. It is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters in the story can always be reversed, or vice versa. I'm so exhausted. As I keep saying, I am moving. It's been a lot. Also, before I get started, I know some of you ordered my Love Oracle deck available on Etsy. Um, I just sent those out today. Sorry, it took a while. Um, I've been going through a lot. All right. All right. Let's start. Tarot. All right. We're going on the collective for the 12th. What do we need to know? First card out is the Ten of Swords. So, something's ending. That's oh, creepy. I just noticed that there's a skull underneath that house. Too many. It's going on the 12th of May. Two of Swords. Now, typically, I take Two of Swords as a choice, but with this card, it's a little bit different. This person can't see, this person can't speak. Justice. Justice is served. Balancing out the scales. For some reason, I want to say... There's something you don't know. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity, which would be knowing something, right? Um, yeah, I want to say there's something regarding an ending or justice that you're unaware of at this moment in time. But has already happened or has begun to happen. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? Eight of Wands. Fast moving. The communication. Um, can be traveling, moving. Hookup. Magnetic attraction, okay. Um, that's very much a sexual vibe. That feels completely different than what we were just talking about, though. Single. So, like I said in the very beginning, right? Someone... Or something's ended, right? So it feels like someone's suddenly single, alone. But you might not know that yet. But then I don't understand what this is about. What is up with this hookup sexual energy? What does it have to do with an ending? Hold on. What is up with this sexual energy and having anything to do with an ending. Motor and Pestle, the stork, the island, the book, right? The island is about being alone, solo, stork, change, hidden. You're not aware that somebody is alone, single, that that has changed. You're not aware of it. I mean, there's something about this that makes me feel like someone's not aware of that. This truth and clarity has not quite come out yet. So there's two cards now that represent being single. Transformation change, ten of swords. And then this feels like it's not no it's not it's not public knowledge yet. But what is up with this hookup? What is up with this hookup? Trophy, victory, recognition. The rider, green light, boom. What I wanted to say is you finally get the one you want, right? Victory, the rider rushes in quickly, 
green light, messenger, boom, magnetic attraction, hook up, like immediate, it feels like. Someone may reach out to you and be like, hey, I'm uh, single, and then you immediately go over their house, and that's that, and you end up getting who you want. Anything else? Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Ascending, transcending obstacles, new faith, preparing for a union. Healing heart, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Someone definitely ended a relationship, but it feels like... That person, you don't know that, right? You don't know that this person has ended this relationship yet. The chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. You may have wanted this person for a while, or they were in a codependent relationship, one or the other. Anything else here? Between the lines. Anything else? Yeah, there's something I'm missing here. What is it that I'm missing? Date. What? soulmate what am I missing the eagle fixed signs what am I missing that's between the lines here? A butterfly and the lighthouse. Warning, beware, make a detour. I don't get it. What am I missing here? Seduction. Third party interference. Yay! <laughs> I don't think I've not pulled a third party card in like two months. And what I was going to say was, you might get who you want, but it might actually be too late. Like someone reaches out, I'm going to switch my script a little bit here. It feels like, yes, someone does rush in, victory, you get who you want, right? But it feels like it might be while you're doing this with somebody else. I don't know why I want to say that, but that's how I feel. Literally, it's like as soon as you're doing that with somebody else or whatever on a date with somebody else, it doesn't have to be graphic like that, right? It's like you're going to get a text like, hey, I'm single. And you're like, really? I just had sex. <laughs> Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. You're like, fine, I'm not waiting for you anymore, right? Maybe you were chasing, right? Like, I'm not waiting for you. You find someone else. Then they're like, hey. And you're like, yo, I was just on a date. Five of swords. Mental conflict. Now you're like, well, now what? Five of Wands. A lot of conflict here. Now you don't know what to do. Queen of Swords. You have to pick one. You have to... You're going to have to hurt somebody because this... The Queen of Swords is... Can sometimes be a little bit... Cuts a little bit deep, right? The Star. Which one is actually the Wish? The one you've been waiting for, or the fresh one. The moon. 
Use your intuition. Anything else? Spiritual awakening. Maybe which one is more spiritually evolved? Healing. Which one is more healed? Which one is more ready? Faded meeting. Surrender. Hmm. I still feel like I'm missing something. What's up with the person that just became single? Four of Wands. It's a marriage card. Twin Flame. Maybe they were married because we did have the justice card somewhere in this pile. Or in a serious relationship. Seven of Pentacles. Never pulled this card. Interesting. Typically that's kind of like reflecting, watching something grow. Yeah, that's the person. <coughs> oh god. What's the person you've been waiting for? The seed's been growing for a while. Knight of Swords. Then all of a sudden, boom. Hmm. Seven Wands. Now you have all these burdens. What do I do? All of it's coming out you at once. I kind of feel like that lately, too. Because this, first of all, this doesn't always have to do with something romantic, right? This can be... A sense of you getting everything you want at once and it's overwhelming. For instance, for me, I'm in the middle of moving, right? And I get, you know, my not only one but multiple sales on Etsy within a week. And I'm just like, it happens when I'm moving. It's like when it rains, it pours. That's what this kind of feels like. It's like you're going to get everything you want at once. I mean, if it's we're talking love, it could be like what I said. You know, is it too late? Maybe you already moved on to someone else, whatever, whatever. But just in a general sense, this feels like getting a bunch of things that you want at once. And then you're conflicted about it. Or overwhelmed or stressed or whatever. All right. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe to so be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.